Okay. This is our pond. Ponds are beyond the scope of this inspection. These are paving stones. These are beyond the scope of this inspection. The gates are locked. We're going to have at least two exterior videos. We've got a video about the condensing unit already. Trees should not be closer than 25 feet to a structure to prevent root growth from moving the foundation, to prevent roots from sucking the moisture out from underneath the foundation, to prevent the branches from causing damage to the structure. So that's why trees shouldn't be so close. Coming along here, this is called a shrinkage crack. Okay, some home inspectors call them corner pops. Call them what you will. Corner pops, corner pops. All right, that is not a foundation issue. It might be a brick issue because it holds up the brick. This is not a brick house. This is a wood frame house with a brick facade. So that's the brick and the concrete for various reasons move at various rates at various times. The pressure comes out at the corner. Again, that's conducive to wood destroying insects. It's conducive to termites. They can crawl up in there and get into your structure. But, you know, that's not want to put it in there. I'm calling it a deficiency in the report, but it's not a foundation, unquote, issue. We got a little bit of movement right in here. I understand that there might have been some foundation repair around this part of the structure. I don't have any paperwork. I don't know anything about it, but there is a little bit of some cracking right there. This home is a wood home, all right? It's got brick walls, okay? Exterior clad siding over a brick wall, wooden frame, and because brick is a great insulator, the house can burn down. Yeah, I mean, it's, but it's porous. When the lawn sprinkler system hits it, water goes right through it. When the rain hits it, water goes right through it. So we expect it to dry. We give it these weep holes right underneath this crack. This crack right in here and the crack by the window. The crack got those weep holes. Most of the time, the only thing you're going to see come out of there is vapor. That's what you're going to see most of the time. But if you have an event, water will come out. I hope you don't, but water can come out if you have an event. But most of the time it's vapor. So that's where the drainage plane stops. The water goes through the brick, goes down the drainage plane, comes out here and comes out through the weep holes by design. Now when we have windows and brickwork, okay, doors and brickwork, we have lentils above them. See these rusty lentils? Those metal pipe, well, those metal plates. See how they're rusting for us? We, those lentils hold up the brickwork. Somebody's got to hold up the windows, the bricks. The glass isn't going to do it. So we've disrupted the drainage plane. In all these areas where we've disrupted the drainage plane, we should also have weep holes above these fenestrations. That's French for hole in your wall. Coming on across here, rain gutter is supposed to be a minimum of one inch away from the wall. It's supposed to have kick out flashing. Okay. Then the siding is supposed to be a minimum of two inches off of the wall, off the roof covering to keep water from wicking up into the siding. So we should have, uh, there should be a gap on the siding. We should have kick out flashing right there and the rain gutter should have been separated a little bit. That's what should have happened. We pose, we pose, we pose, we pose, we pose. We do not have a project over here. By today's standards, it's still inadequate. But a weather cover, an in-use cover, that's not an in-use cover. See how that's plugged in? And see how the cover's still open? It can rain and still get in there. And that's the same thing with all the exteriors. Same thing with all the exteriors. And this is a switch that I was using to um, operate the pond. There you go. Not to mention a uniform, whole grannies. That works. Moving on along, got some box bushes. Lawn sprinkler head should not be closer than five inches to the structure. This head should not be that close. Again, tree shouldn't be closer than 25 feet. Now we're coming along here and we got a little bit of history. One thing what we can see is that little circle right down there tells me that this is a post-tension slab foundation. They make several types, or at least a few types. And they make different types of post-tension slab. I don't know which type this was. All of them are good if they're done properly. It's all the house has been here for 30 years, so it's but it's post-tension slab. So let's identify that. Over here, we do not have lentils over this window because all we have above it is wood. And over these windows, 
You'll notice that we also do not have much in the way of soffit. It's a nice 1980s design. Okay, we don't have much in the way of soffit, but there should be Z-bar flashing over the windows. And you can tell, by the way, the siding does not match across here, that this piece has been replaced. All right, because we had some wood damage and wood rot. We got some putty in here. We got some putty in here. We've been, we've been fixing on this thing. We've been fixing on it. Tree's too close. Where do termites live? In the ground. Where do they eat? Dead wood. What's wood mulch? Dead wood and ground next to your house. It's called a clue. A few times a year, I'll just do a Hail Mary like that. Just move some wood mulch around and find some termites. It happens. A little more repair right over there. We do not need a lintel over here, nor do we need the Z-bar flashing over here because the window, the top of the window goes up behind the freeze board. So that's not, over here, Z-bar flashing. No Z-bar flashing over there because we have lentils. They should have weep holes. Uh, neither one is required over here. Tree too close. Then we come over here. This one's a really nice one. This is another bathroom window. This bathroom's got a lot of light. This is the primary bedroom suite bathroom. So this the south window, this is the east window. We got some uh, window lights up here at the top. It's kind of nice. Come over here. They've been working on this one as well. We expect that. Got a little wood damage up in there. And then look at there. There's more. Okay, did I lose the copyright? Can I say Mickey Mouse anymore? I can't no, I can't use the name. I can't use the name. But anyway, somebody's living in there. Some mouse is in there. Some mouse is living in there.